Oh, my knees are gonna get sun. Do you have some? Did you put sunscreen on? Nope, you don't need sunscreen. But we're gonna, they said we're gonna get burned in 20 minutes. Hey, yo, guess what? She knows what we're doing tomorrow. She's done it. She's gonna help us visualize what's going on tomorrow so we have an idea what it's gonna be like, what we need to wear. Fail. Okay, so you're going to ATM cave tomorrow. When you get there, the first thing you're gonna do is literally swim across a river. So you're gonna be hiking in wet shoes. You're gonna be soaking wet. You can't take anything with you. Okay, like, so, and then after you swim across the river, you're hiking on trails, which are pretty easy. And when you get to the cave, you're gonna swim into the mouth of the cave. It's not far from here to the post, but then you're not getting out of the water. You're staying in water for a good 35, 40 minutes. So it'll be anywhere from waist deep, depending on the rocks, because you're walking in rocks. That's why you wanna have close toe um, shoes. When you get to the part where they go up into the crystal cavern, <laughs> You're going to climb a big boulder, so there's a boulder and they have places where you put your feet and hands. Then you're in the crystal cavern, you take off your shoes, you're walking, the guide's telling you the story of the Maya and the underworld. You're going to climb a house ladder that's like one story high into a cavern, and then you're going to go down this cavern where there's the skeletal remains of the Mayas. They do not allow any cameras, any phones, any GoPros, anything in the cave somebody dropped their camera right on the skull and then put a kibosh on anybody going in. But I think it's good because then people are paying attention to the guide and the stories of the Mayas. Breakfast, there's French toast and eggs, so are amazing. Pineapple and bananas. Pineapple and some star fruit. I've never had star fruit before. And now we're gonna get dressed, get ourselves ready to go, and we're heading out to go caving and swimming and hiking. It's gonna be very exciting and yep. different. No GoPros into the cave, but then they enforce we have to wear wet socks the whole time. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, let's go, guys. Alright, this could be pretty fun. We can't take anything with us. And then, looks like there's a bunch of other people doing it. And we're having three groups of eight people each. And there's another group. And yeah. Okay, who wants to go down the creepy tunnel inside the tomb first? I had a very good experience. The tour guide was amazing. The water was the perfect temperature, and it was very cool to see the full, the full body skeleton. Yeah. I'd say nine out of ten. We started by, we waded through a bunch of water. We went through a bunch of rivers, went over them, and we hiked to get to the scent to the front of the cave. And there was a big body of water that we had to swim through to get to the start of the cave. And we started just going through the cave, checking out all the different. Stuff that's going on, all the, the leg cool. tights, the leg mites, yeah. all, all that mites. The main thing was when we got to the back, there was a whole skeleton that you could see. Yeah, and before that, we were going through like kind of decently large chambers of pottery and other artifacts. A lot of pottery and skulls in the back where the Mayans used to go there and do sacrifices. That's the history. And bloodletting. Blood on the way back, it was much more watery. We gotta go on like slides and narrow areas. I don't know what we're doing next. We are tying knots onto our water balls so we can attach them to canoes. That later, or this morning, we're gonna drive 30 minutes upriver, put our canoes in the water, coast down to a town, eat lunch at that town, and then take taxis from that town to our hotel and chillax.
we'll go over it more, but I'll be lead and Ken will be sweep. So I'll be in front. I think if you'd like to improve your skills on reading the water, paddling strokes, techniques, I would like to go with Ken for that. <laughs> but you pass the iron bridge, onto your left hand side here is a small cement dump. Yeah, okay, perfect. And if we pass this bridge, we've gone too far. Then you've gone too far if you pass the board bridge. Um, if and when somebody, a hockey plow the canoe, or if there's an obstacle, you never point at the obstacle, you always point positive. You're telling the person where to go. Whether it's hard, it's everybody knows how to paddle, so we're leaning forward and we're coming back. We're doing the we're doing the belly thing. My knees are gonna get sun. Do you have some? Did you put sunscreen on? Nope, you don't need sunscreen. But we're gonna, they said we're gonna get burned in 20 minutes. So I think we're gonna take a little bit of time. Found another rope swing. It looks pretty cool. Right over here. And, uh, so where'd you go? Over here. sit here in the rain so we can watch kids jump in the water. It's really great. Luke, what are your thoughts on sitting in the rain while waiting for everyone else to have fun? Woo! 